Since its introduction in 1984, the McDonnell Douglas F.A. 18 Hornet has served as the cornerstone of tactical U.S. naval aviation. Boeing introduced the F.A. 18E F Super Hornet, or Rhino, in 2001 as a major improvement over the fourth generation strike fighter, based on the platform's proven technology. After several successful combat deployments, the Super Hornet has replaced all of the Navy's strike fighter squadrons. Despite having identical names and the same designation, the Super Hornet is a very distinct aircraft. With more power and functionality than the Legacy Hornet, it is around 20% bigger and weighs almost 7,000 LBs more. Its range is increased, and its ability to carry more ordnance is enhanced with stronger engines and additional hardpoints. Its engine intakes have been altered to make it harder to detect. Its strong mission computers process more information more quickly. The Super Hornet is now an excellent platform and the backbone of the U.S. Navy thanks to all of these enhancements. But, as was the case with the Legacy, the Navy has realized that more improvements are required two decades after the ship's launch. The Block 3 FA-18 Super Hornet is introduced. Block 3 Super Hornets are identical to their Block 2 counterparts from the outside. Unlike the differences between Legacy Hornets and Rhinos, they lack any distinguishing visual characteristics. The majority of the enhancements are internal, one of the few obvious suggested modifications, which isn't implemented yet, is the possibility to add conformal fuel tanks. By attaching directly to the aircraft's fuselage instead of being supported by belly or wing pylons, these streamlined tanks significantly reduce drag. The efficacy of this approach has previously been demonstrated by the F 50 Eagle. Such tanks would provide the FA-18 Super Hornet with an additional 3,500 pounds of fuel capacity, which is a vital resource in any confrontation involving China. This might enable American carriers to operate outside China's land-based hypersonic anti-ship missile system's reach. An extended lifespan is a significant hidden benefit of the Block 3s that is unrelated to fighting. Between training and deployments, military aircraft log a lot of flight hours, and every extra minute that they can spend in the air, fighting is valuable. Block 3. Hornets are expected to outlive their Block 2 counterparts by about 4,000 hours, or a total of 10,000 hours. The Block 3 internally includes a significant enhancement for pilots. The four monitors they presently have to oversee are replaced with a 10x9 19-inch touch panel that can be customized. The distributed targeting processor Networked MC, which has more than 17 times the computing capability of the present MCs, will be used by these displays to process information. This update paves the way for H18 Rel 2, an improved version, and enables the Super Hornet to utilize the full capabilities of the H18 mission software. Moreover, the DTPN is open architecture, which means that hardware changes won't be necessary in the future for software updates. This is a major step forward for the Super Hornet, since many fleet aircraft are now limited to using H16, an outdated program due to hardware limits. Five generations behind the current fleet standard, some trainer F-18s even use 25X software. The Block 3's lowered radar cross-section is the last component. Although the specifics of how this was achieved are closely guarded, it is obvious that the new Super Hornets will be more difficult to destroy than their predecessors. Though they can't compete with the Lightning II's stealth features, being invisible was never the intention. Instead, these enhancements will make it harder for threat radar to get a track good enough for weapons, 